Hey everyone, um, I just thought I'd do a quick video um, about the new IDEs. So before I've had NetBeans IDE 8.2 downloaded on my desktop and that's sort of been the go-to one. Some of you may have noticed that NetBeans is updated and it's now Apache NetBeans. So what I'll do is I'll quickly head to the Apache NetBeans website and I'll do this video hopefully nice and quickish to get you guys all sorted with NetBeans. So you will need to download your JDK which is your Java development kit. Sometimes you can get, or you used to be able to get, the bundles of the IDE and the JDK at the same time, but I'm not sure if we do in this one, but we'll have a look and see see what we can find. So, like I say, it's Apache NetBeans now, so it's netbeans.apache.org. You can type Apache NetBeans into Google and it should come up. And here we've got a few different options. So we've got older releases here, so these really old ones, if you get back to, um, there you go, the JDK is bundled with NetBeans 8.2. So normally it will tell you if they've been bundled or not. So for those of you that aren't sure, the LTS version is the long-term support. So it will be uh, updated and they're planning on updating it and continuing to update it for the foreseeable future. I believe, I haven't got NetBeans downloaded on this computer, but for my work laptop, I've got Apache NetBeans 12.4. So, which is this one. You can download either of them. There won't be a huge amount of difference. I can't imagine anyway. But like I say, we'll get this sorted and we will get this downloaded and show you guys how to do it. So this is the download page. It gives you all of the different installers that you can use. So I will be using this top one because it's the XE X64. I think this one's for Mac OS, isn't it? Oh yeah, it says OS X here. And then there's a Linux one too. And some more information as well about the, uh, the different releases. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to select the top one. Get that downloaded. Right, I'll pause the video here just because it's going to take a little while on my internet. And then when that's downloaded, I'll um, run through the whole install process with everybody, just so hopefully it helps some of you. Okay, so we have got NetBeans downloaded, so let's run the XE. I'll close. Oh, I won't now, so we'll just accept that. Close this. And we'll go through the installer. So there are a few changes with Apache NetBeans. Uh, such as the store has changed, um, but it's got a build framework built into it. I think it was Gradle or Ant or Maven, I can't actually remember, I don't use it very often. But they are in there. You don't necessarily have to use them if they don't if you don't want to, but the options are there sort of pre-built if you if you do want to use them. So, oh, that, took, that was quicker than I thought. Right, let's see, so what have we got? Let's get rid of the XE. Oh, we're getting like a nice little collection now. Okay. Oh, that's quite cool. So if you do have 8.2, it will import some of your settings. So hopefully, actually, we might start with dark mode, which would be quite nice. Although I must admit, against the grain, I don't mind the light mode in NetBeans. I know it's shocking. Right, so, oh, they are old student bits that I've been marking. Right, let's have a look. So if we go to um, plugins, we can see what's already downloaded and we'll be able to see what we can install as well. So you can have a nice little look through these if you want. You can search for Java specific ones. So let's see, what do we want? Color codes, do we really need color codes? Probably not. The UML one is quite good actually. If you get into coding properly, you will use unified modeling language to create class diagrams and things like that. Uh, so having a, UN, a UML extension can be quite useful. Oh, there we go. So these are some of the packages from 8.2 that are being installed. So let's finish that. Let's just sort some projects out. So let's do file new project. So there we go. We've got Java with Ant, Maven and Gradle. You can choose again whichever one you want. It, it doesn't have a massive impact. I'm going to copy that because I noticed there was some old projects in there that I want to delete. So I'll pinch that, create a new project. Oh, I don't like that. So to change this, I'm just going to make it full screen so it's a bit easier for you to see. We're going to go to Tools and Options. I'm going to go to Fonts and Colors. And then we can change it to whatever we like. Unusually, though, Darkula is normally uh, quite a nice 
a color, colors, uh, selection of colors. I'm just gonna check the others. So we've got that one. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go for flat left dark. That's what I've got on my laptop as well. So there we go. I'm gonna apply that and I make the font a bit larger. Oh, I'm gonna make it larger than 24. Might make it bold though. There we go. Cool. There you go. So it it can be that quick and easy. So all I did was went to the Apache NetBeans website, um, went to download, downloaded what we needed. Actually, just something that I have noticed is that, that this is still white. So that's not really actually very good at all, is it? Okay, so we've got the dark mode here. Right, let's get that sorted then. Let's get that, uh, the whole window dark. So we're gonna need to go to tools options. So once we're in um, the appearance, we can go to look and feel, and then we can change our preferred look. So we can have metal nimbus, flat laugh. So I'm gonna have flat laugh. I'm gonna apply it. Oh, I didn't apply that. I'll just go back and do that. Uh, there we go. Oh, so that was applied. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully, we give that a little restart. It should be dark mode all over. Let's see. And then there we go. So we've got our dark mode. So all we did was we went to Apache NetBeans. We downloaded um, the version that we wanted, remembering that LTS stands for long term support if you're interested. We went to, to change the dark mode, we went to our tools and options. Cross to fonts and colors, change flat laugh. You can choose others, obviously, of course. Um, I chose that one though. Went across to appearance, and then look and feel, and then preferred look and feel. Changed it to one that we found appropriate. Pressed OK, restarted it, and then you get your nice dark mode. Okay, uh, if there's anything else you guys are struggling with, please let me know, and I will, if I can help, I will gladly do a video alongside the videos that we're already doing for the University of Helsinki as well. But until I see you next time, happy coding, good luck, and uh, I'll speak to you guys in the future.